guys, it's Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff here today, and I'm going to be doing something that I haven't really done, like, at all, which is an update vlog for you guys. So I'd really like to talk about things that are on my mind, about, like, certain technologies that are coming out, or the Galaxy S3 that came out today. We're gonna get into that. Um, so, yeah, that's something that's so simple that I actually haven't done yet, and I'd really like to interact with you guys in that way. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Always down in the bar down here. I also have a Twitter. It's I am Erica, so it's all one word. I am underscore Erica. And um, I release a lot of updates, such as what I've done today is that I've been talking with Samsung PR, and the lady, she was so nice, she put me on the list for uh, a sample, which is the Galaxy S3, to release this Galaxy S3 to me so that I can review it for you guys. So I am keeping my fingers crossed that she gets to me like rather soon so that I can review that for you guys because it will be super, super awesome. And I know that I've been a little bit upset with um, my Galaxy Note. I really love my Galaxy Note, you know, because it is so fantastically awesome. It has an awesome digitizer and I'm able to use my pen and notate in class, which has been extremely useful. So it's been more of a tablet than a phone and I don't want to lose that functionality that I have, but there is one problem. And the reason that I'm upset is the issues that it's been having during video. This little thing that's called black clipping has been haunting pretty much everybody who has a Galaxy Note. So when you watch a video, anything that's black in the background suddenly looks grainy, purple, green. I really don't know where purple comes from or how that color is generated, but it is an issue and it makes videos video watching excruciating and kind of defeats the point of having a tablet phone of this size, you know, 5.38 inches, 5.3 inches, sorry. But the Galaxy S3 that just came out today, I've been hearing very good news is that the black clipping issue is fixed. No more black clipping issue. So this is the gamma test for the Galaxy Note here. This is actually my Galaxy Note and mine has extremely bad black clipping in addition to colors like purple and green and other things that should never be confused as black. But as you can see here, it's supposed to go downward from 21 to zero. Mine, it hits four and then suddenly drops off to black. It's not supposed to do that. If your phone is doing this, it means you have trouble with rendering blacks during video, which is very sad. So it's actually supposed to look like this, and hopefully you're looking at this on a normal computer monitor so that it gets rid of extraneous variables. So if you're looking at this on a AMOLED screen, get off of that screen and go somewhere else, like regular LCD. So you can see that it says 21 and it fades nicely downward so that by the time you hit like seven, you can't see any of the colors hardly at all, unless you're like in a dark bathroom. So this is how it's supposed to display. And on XDA, there's a girl who tested it and she said that when she hits seven, you can see eight, but once it hits seven, it's, it drops off. So that means it's doing a lot better with rendering blacks and I am fairly confident now that it's not having any issues <laughs> like mine is. A lot of people were seeing it go down to one and they could still see it clearly. So that means that if you are willing to make a jump down from the 5.3 inch on display on the Galaxy Note to the 4.8 inch shirt on the Galaxy S3, that you'll probably be very happy with your decision to either jump from the Galaxy Note, unless you don't really care about video because this does very well with apps and everything else, just not video. So you can be rest assured that you can make that leap now, you guys. I've been hearing lots of really good things about this screen. There is some speculation that's that some of the earlier ones had like a pinkish tint. I really don't know what that's about, but I'm hoping that that doesn't make it to several of the post-production models that's going out to consumers because that would really suck. But I know that Super AMOLED is an organic display technology and it's going to have issues probably throughout all time. Poor Super AMOLED, which um, I did look a little bit into. I was really upset that the Galaxy S3 is now going with the Pentile display as well. So I want to clarify that for you guys is that Pentile displays are not going to be going away for like ever until they figure out how to deal with burn in. So what happens is that if you have something that's super AMOLED plus displays, if you've ever gone and played with one, you, you can see sometimes that if it's a display model or if someone's had a clock in a, in a certain area for a very long period of time that you start to see an after 
effect that just stays there. So it's like an imprint on the screen. So if you had 808 on the clock, it'll forever stay 808, even as you're scrolling through the pages. It'll be like this black, not black, this gray burn-in. And that basically happens because on an organic display technology like Super AMOLED, the blue pixels burn out faster than all the other pixels. So that kind of sucks. The thing is that they said that since they are now staying with the pen tile displays, that the pen tile matrix actually shit, has sub pixels and it gets rid of a lot of the blue pixels. So essentially you have a lot of yellow pixels, not as many red pixels and not as many blue pixels. So that makes it so that the display doesn't have blue pixels that die out as fast because there's not as many as them, of them as Super AMOLED Plus. So that's the reasoning behind the pen tile displays that's now kept on the flagship phones for Samsung because AMOLED is a very infantile technology and it just has issues and it dies rather quickly if it's the plus arrangement or it can. And they don't want that to happen in masses on an HD screen on a flagship phone. So Pentile's not going away for a very long time, you guys. Sorry. Um, but as far as the S3 and the Galaxy Note, uh, the, the S3 is gonna be so powerful. I'm very excited. It's still built on the A9 architecture, not the A15, which is what we're gonna be seeing now in the very near future. But um, as far as, you know, if you wanna compare it to the Galaxy Note or even the S2, the Galaxy S3 is going to be faster now. And it's also built, uh, even though it's A9, it's built on a smaller architecture. So that means it's gonna be more power efficient and it's gonna be extremely fast at the same time. So I'm very excited to see what it's able to do. They do they do have their bragging rights now because if you see that they have like an instant play feature or whatever the heck they call it, that they can you can have your HD videos playing up on the screen as you're having a text message or whatever. So that really shows you the processor abilities of this phone. So I would be willing to step down from the Galaxy Note. I'm also gonna be extremely fascinated by the Galaxy Note 10.1 that comes out because that's also going to be quad core. So this is going to be extremely exciting and I just hope that it doesn't have horrible display issues, you know, cause I know that it's not gonna have black clipping now, but I don't want it to have anything else. Please, keeping my fingers crossed. And Samsung, please send it out as soon as you can. If at all, I hope they don't actually just say they were gonna send it to me and then don't actually do it. Cause I really want to review it for you guys. It'll be so cool. Um, so it's not just a specification based review. But anyway, I have to thank you so much, Alex, for taking my business cards. I sent him a bunch of them. He should be getting them like today because he's going to be going to a couple of tech conventions and passing them out to different PR representatives. So hopefully I'll be able to get other phones from that as well and get my name out there. And I have to thank you guys so much for watching. It's really you guys that help to get the word out and with you know watching the videos and following me on Twitter or even on my Facebook, it really just helps with everything. And I'm extremely grateful and I don't really have much more to say at the moment, but I hope that I've clarified for you the issue with the Pentile and why it's going to stay Pentile. So the S3 is going to be a really cool phone and I'm excited to see this phone, you guys. Oh, there's one more thing I could say is I've been flashing around this device here and it's gotten bigger if possible. This behemoth Android has gotten like 30 or 40% bigger. Reason being is that I have now a Mugen power, Mugen battery on this guy. So Mugen is now working with me and they want to send me batteries um, Pretty much constantly I hope I can get a hold of the devices for those so that I can test out this awesome battery. So this is a 5400 milliamp hour battery you guys. This is really really awesome. The first thing I can say is this is the first charge. I'm at 65% and it's already been like 20 hours with four hours of screen time. So that is impressive. So I'm going to be doing a full review on that and I will get back to you guys. So have a good day. It's really hot in here all of a sudden. Phew! Oh, summertime! <laughs>